All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can play as the worst president in the history of the universe. It's Power and Revolution. I know someone's gonna be like, Gray, you'll be hard pressed to do that. Just you wait, world simulation, damn it. So there's a game here called Chaos 2030. Uh, we're gonna play the United States and we're just gonna go absolutely insane. I'm gonna try and run things as poorly as possible and go to nuclear war with Canada. Why Canada? I don't know, because I'm lazy and they're close. I love Canada. But see, this isn't happening until 2030, so y'all got nothing to worry about. My lack of knowledge of this game on top of my ability to make really bad decisions is bound to- Oh my god. god. The year is 2030. The fate of the world is more uncertain than ever. Nations have turned in on themselves. Nuclear weapons, all kinds of random crap. Graves pushing all the friggin' bars to the maximum. I don't even care what half of this does. These sound fantastic. Disasters, absolutely. Warmongering, yep. Terrorism, mm-hmm. Turmoil, yep. El Robespierre. Yeah, we're gonna make you cry in your in your in your grave. I'm sorry, dude. I didn't even get into the game, and I've got something on the screen already. What is this? 2030, the year of chaos. Oh my God! Talk about fear mongering. Uh, several policies will go into effect. Okay. In Europe, the European I'm Union will become an organization limited to the northern countries. Okay, I'm not. I'm sorry, ma'am. Your your dispassion for the insanity going on with the world is something I can't deal with. Goodbye. This must be like our 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 reference guy. This is the most smug looking bastard I have ever seen in a video game in my entire life. Okay, all right, so before trying to screw up the entire world and going to war with Canada, again, I'm, I'm sorry, Canada. I know, I know, you guys are sorry too. We need to get the people on our side. I assume, again, I don't really know exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna click on some buttons and hope that things happen. Farming, assistance for converting to organic farming. Sure, I'll put a couple of billion dollars into that. Maybe that'll make everyone happy. Figures the very first thing that Gray goes for after like trying to help people out is taxation, baby. You can create new taxes. Oh my, <laughs> the tax on internet access. <laughs> this one has like a vested interest for me. Let's never touch this again. Sure, we'll tax industrial pollution. What the hell is a pet tax? Yeah, let's do a deforestation tax. I actually love nature, even though we're gonna be bombing a lot of it. I still really enjoy it. And some highway toll tax. I'm sure that can't hurt anything. I never had thought we would gain popularity so quickly. Thank you for taking care of the ecology. You're welcome, Betty. I'd like to congratulate you in person for your popularity. The you way the country trusts you moves I me. Don't and I am happy to work. Stop talking. You don't sound like you want to congratulate me. You sound like you want me to kill myself. The manpower on the soldiers is gonna have to get jacked way up. As a matter of fact, let's just add like a six over here or something. You know what? Why stop at a six? We'll make it an eight. You guys get paid more money too because I'd like more people to become army enlistments. Rockets, missiles, yeah, a bunch of those. I'd like to think that other countries would be looking at all this happening and being like, hey, US. Uh, are you planning on doing anything with all the military power and be like, no, no, just keeping it around for a late, for a rainy day. It's just like when Leonidas went to go walk with his 300 men. You know, sometimes you just want to get out and see the world. In this case, the world is going to be Canada. Uh, more rockets. Confirm. What the hell's going on over here? Bulgaria is fighting Turkey? Why? It's a raging conflict. How do you wish to react? I don't know. I guess I'll just look at them kill one another. I... I I'm not gonna do any of this. I got my own problems. Your schemes in are in contrast to the World Bank's rules. God, there's riots everywhere. What the hell happened? I haven't even started doing anything yet. The protest group is the Temple of the Knights of the Order. How do you wish to react? Soldiers. The Masonic Temple of the Antichrist. What is going on here? Just, how about just police for this one? The World Bank is excluding everyone. Everyone's getting screwed over. This is me addressing the protesters. What sort of glorious the vocal acting do we have here? Critical. I ask you all, led by your conscience, mm -hmm. to measure the impact of the current unrest that is shaking our country. Please stop. That actually sounds like a legitimate presidential speech. I hate to say it. What the hell is this? A disaster cold wave? Fantastic. It's time to go to war. Canada. Military operations. Attack this country. All right, so we're attacking Canada. We're gonna want to use nukes for this. Oh, hold on. First, I have to listen to the, the declaration of war. Here we go. Fellow esteemed citizens, uh -huh. our current situation is critical. Faced with repeated provocations from this rogue state that is threatening both our country <laughs> repeated and the provocations from Canada, I have made a conscious decision 
to declare war. Oh, rogue Canada. The diplomacy has failed. Oh, it we sure has. Look to our guns to speak for us <laughs> so that we can defend our okay. home. Yeah, we got, that's how we do it over here in the United States. We let our guns speak for us. The repeated provocations of Canada. Those, those rogue tricksters. Terrorist action? Yeah, go ahead. We'll send emergency aid. All right, Chief of the Army. We got to meet on Saturday. Consider it a date. We gotta, we gotta talk about nuclear war. North Korea drops an atomic bomb on Japan? Didn't see that one coming. The police are on scene. Getting the living hell beaten. Oh my god, the protesters just blew up a police fan and beat the hell out of my police officer. I'm just gonna hope that all this gets sorted out on its own. The United Kingdom drops an atomic bomb on North Korea. China drops an atomic bomb on the United Kingdom. There's just bombs. I'm like slow. I'm the slowest one. So here's where the mushroom cloud is. I think it, everyone's dead. I think over at Plymouth, people are still around. There's still individuals that are left alive. Benjamin, let me go ahead and offer you a glass of- That's not to be turned down. To the- Thank what the- you. what the hell's going on with the- <laughs> Does it get him drunk? Well, can you give- tell him he's radiant. You, you really are the best. Hold on. It's very kind of you. I'm really pleased to hear it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you- he's drunk now. Hold on, now that he's wasted. Now we can, hold on, let me, where is it? <laughs> Authorize a nuclear strike. Every one of the Joint Chiefs of Staff believes that heads of state should be able to use big guns when they see fit to do so. I'm so glad to- So we are with you on this one. I'll immediately confirm our authorization with the nuclear high command. It seems like a terrible decision to make when you're drunk, but I mean, it worked. Can there I have the- go. Thank Look. you. Might as well go all the way. My soldierly honor, adamantly forbids the use of this type of weapons. For as long as I live, you will never have the army's approval to perpetrate a nuclear war. Wait, aren't we, isn't the nuclear, whatever, offer a bribe. Well, we'll deal with just regular nukes for right now. Seems good enough to me. What the hell happened over here? What is this? What sort of, is it, what is this, like a zombie a apocalypse or something? Report on the war with Canada. How's the it going? The enemy army is defeated. Oh. We should finish them off quickly. I think we've been to war for like three days. I mean, good. Good, good job, Benjamin. Bad evaluation. Suck it. I, I didn't, I didn't know I was doing this, but you know what? Sure, whatever. But oh my God! Oh, <laughs> they're gonna bomb it again? Sure. I'm Toronto. I'm sorry, Toronto. Oh my God! Helicopters are falling to the ground. It is freaking bedlam. Well, things seem to be doing pretty good over in Toronto. We've taken Montreal. Fantastic. This doesn't look fair. Their tank looks substantially larger than ours. I have a feeling we're about to get our asses kicked. Yeah, it's not looking too good over here. Come on, boys. See, Canada's not to be trifled with. All right, I'm pissing everyone off, so we've got to do something good for the people. Uh, let's see here. How to get people off your back for a day. We'll do Social Security. See how easy it is? That's all you gotta do is throw the people a bone every once in a while. All right, we're gonna go ahead and nuke Winnipeg. Nuclear strike launch procedure. Enter your activation code. Oh, I actually had to write that down. Hold on. Oh, I always like to keep my nuclear activation codes stickied right to the computer, just like all my passwords. I feel like that's a thing. Like, I'm sure there's some movie about that where the president keeps his uh, his nuclear codes uh, sticky noted to the to the, the screen of the monitor. Let's go ahead and confirm it. All right, there goes the nuke. Nuclear bombing successful. How are things going over here in Winnipeg? How are the people doing? Pretty good? Yeah. They still got like the beatbox music playing in the background, so it can't be all that over there. Peaceful demonstrations of the war against Canada. Disaster. Atomic bomb actually gives you the victim amount. Mr. President, more than, what is that, five million supporters of the attack march in Washington and proclaim at the top of their lungs their support for your courageous initiative? What is wrong with this country? There's even portraits of yourself, Mr. President. Oh, thank you, Charles. The Battle of... Oh, Jesus. We've taken Quebec. The Canadian city is totally under our control. Okay. There's no one over here in Winnipeg anymore. All that's left, it says, are refugees. All right, I've got a couple of uh, vehicles over here going into uh, Winnipeg. I think I've got another nuclear strike that's going to be happening over here pretty soon. What the hell? Canadian chemical attack decimated New Jersey? That's my home city. You sons of bitches. Swine flu epidemic. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, buy that, mu buy that much stuff. Peace treaty. War debt. Paid by Canada to the United States. They're paying us money? Because, like, what? 
They, they were the they were the instigators to this. No, I'm refusing that. Sorry, but all right. Here's the nuke. Looks like it's gonna be a, another uh, perfect strike right here. Yeah, right in the middle of the city. That's what you get for screwing up New Jersey. There's the cloud, the burning. All right, we gotta make the people love us again. Let's go over here to research. We'll uh, we'll do something here. What do we got? Corn-based biodegradable plastic. Uh, sure. Report on the war with Mexico. It must be conceded that there is a stalemate between the two armies. I, Mexico is pissed off at us? All right, well, hold on. Let, we got to finish off with, with Canada. Our approval rating just went through the, what the hell happened? The bombing of civilians. Did some bo did some extra bombs go off that I wasn't privy to? Famine. People are legit just rioting everywhere. There's so much rioting that it's like destroying my frame rate. Oh, we took Winnipeg though, by the way. I'm probably going to get assassinated soon. What the hell is this? What is this? Hello. Hi. I am at the central square. Okay. Here we are. It's rumbling. What? The people have taken to the streets to express their exasperation after everything you've made them go through. Okay. We expected, right? Right. Touching to see all these people surge together, kids and the elderly arm in arm, uttering the same insults against you. Okay, thank you. If I were in their shoes, uh -huh. I would do the same thing. Moreover, I am in their shoes. Resign! 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 I'm not gonna resign. You'll have to find me and kill me. Cyber attack on our army. Germany we whipped. Have the cyber attack under control. <laughs> no Thanks. virus, worm, or Trojan horse can penetrate our systems. Oh man. It must be said that our this... software is. Okay, yeah, this voice acting is penetrating me really good we right now. <laughs> California control. declares war on the United States. What the hell? Fellow esteemed citizens, our current situation is critical. I'll bet it is. With repeated provocations. Yeah, I, I got it. Thank you so much. California <laughs> declares war on the United States. Oh no, I lost. I lost my my. They they like ejected me out of the president spot. Can I? Okay, so that this doesn't happen again, can I turn the United States into like a monarchy? No real power for Congress. The head of state is going to have everything. Oh, the United Kingdom wants peace, and they're going to pay us a bunch of money. I actually need the money, so sure. Our financial system has imploded. Several traders have already committed suicide. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. Did it just say that several traders have committed suicide? <laughs> How bad did I make this happen? First barricades erected by the rebels. Demonstrators are killed. There's just rioting and stuff everywhere. Multiple nuclear warheads had been detonated over in Canada. That's the second president I just went through. Famine, wildfire, there's just disease everywhere. This was this was ridiculously, this is nuts. What happened on the other side of the world? <laughs> over in uh, Japan, radiation reign supreme because freaking everyone started bombing japan i'm pretty sure a bunch of bombs went off over in korea as well yep disaster of atomic bomb it said over here you know on the plus side although everything went to hell uh and uh everyone's rioting and killing each other and everyone's nuking the crap out of one another uh unemployment is at a uh, a low low 4.4 percent huh i'm gonna go ahead and just declare martial law i've had enough of this crap Violation of territorial waters by Japanese ships. Jesus, what else is going on now? Yeah, go ahead. Put the put the fleet over there. All around the entire world. Just war everywhere. Literally everywhere. There's there, this forest fire is the least of our problems over in Alaska. I got martial law going on over here trying to quell the riots. I don't think it's working that good. On the plus side, uh, unemployment's down even further. There's 3 million people affected by the swine flu. There's a lack of personnel caught in the disease on business trips. With the increasing number of infected people on leave due to epidemic development, our entire economy has been affected. <laughs> Jesus. Wednesday the 1st, the United Kingdom drops an atomic bomb on China. It's been so long since someone's gotten an atomic bomb dropped on them. I'm surprised it took this long. Just thought I'd drop one last nuclear bomb. Because quite honestly, I had it in my back pocket. I had an extra nuke. Thought we'd go ahead and throw one more over there. Over in Ottawa. It was pretty close by, so I figured what the hell. How many of these can you drop? Like, can you just keep hitting the same place over and over again or what? They should have never given me this freaking code. 
been a while since we had some riots, so I thought I would get him started back up again. All right, well, 2030 is insane. This game's insane. Uh, there's so much that you could do, it scares me, and I think maybe next time I'm just gonna go ahead and let the AI play for me, because it'll probably make better decisions. Hey folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, Power and Revolution. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.